My name is Juan Valdivia. I'm a neurosurgeon. I'm former assistant professor of neurosurgery at University of Michigan and former chief of neurosurgery at the Ann Arbor VA. And now I am a neurosurgeon at Baker St. Joseph's Hospital in Tampa, Florida. The way to assess spinal deformity is, uh, first of all, in the visit, in the clinic visit. I examine the patient and I measure the uh, symmetry between the hips, the shoulders. I have the patient uh, bend forward and see if there's any uh, discrepancy within uh, the rib cages. Uh, I ask the patient to stand up and relax and see if, uh, where is the head located in regards to the pelvis. The second stage for addressing uh, and assessing spinal deformity is uh, imaging. So the basic imaging is to have scoliosis survey, which is uh, basically a long cassette x-ray of the patient standing. It's important for the patients to have an evaluation uh, to look at the spine as one unit, as one organ, from the cervical spine to the sacrum. Therefore, as surgeons, it's important to not only uh, know when a patient has a spinal deformity, but also prevent spinal deformity by doing the right surgery or not doing surgery. Our main goal is to keep our patients away from the operating room. We only do surgery on those selected patients that fail all conservative measures, namely physical therapy, massage therapy, and pain management. And only then uh, we have a surgical discussion with the patient. Age and activities are the main factors for spinal pathology. Number one, age produces uh, desiccation of the vertebral discs and also of the joints, and that sometimes causes pain sometimes causes deformity and uh, it causes back pain, which is very common in medical practice. And definitely our activities are directly related to spinal pathology. The sports we do, the habits we have, how we stand. Um, therefore, uh, everything we do, depending on uh, how we do it, may affect uh, the axial load and the pressure within the disc of the spine, uh, may affect the relationship between the facets of the spine, and therefore uh, it may cause uh, degenerative disc disease that is very prevalent, or it may cause spondylolisthesis, or it may cause just back pain. What we do is try to tell our patients how to prevent spinal injuries and how to prevent spinal deformity.